and this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to value two integrals let's get started first one integral x cube plus 5x square minus 4 plus 7 by x plus 2 by root x into dx okay solution so we have integral x cube plus 5x square minus 4 plus 7 by x plus 2 by root x into dx. So we can write it as integral x cube dx plus here you are having constant 5 so you can take it outside the integral so you can write it as 5 integral x squared dx minus 4 since 4 is constant so you will get integral dx integral into 4 into dx is integral no 4 integral dx okay plus 7 is constant take it out integral 1 by x dx plus from this you are having two constant okay or simply write The constants outside the integral. So here you are having constant, 4 is a constant, 7 is a constant, 2 is a constant. So this equals to integral x cube dx plus 5 into integral x square dx minus 4 integral dx plus 7 into integral 1 by x dx plus 2 Integral 1 by root x dx. Easy, right? So, this is equals to, since we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c when n is not equals to minus 1. If you consider the first integral, here you are having 3 in the place of n. Okay. Since 3 is not, since n equals to 3 is not equals to minus 1. So, you can apply this formula. You will get x power 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1. Okay, finally, at last we can write the integral constant. Okay, let it be. Plus 5 into, here in the place of n you are having 2. So n equals to 2, which is not equals to minus 1. Again, you can apply this formula. So you will get x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 minus 4 into, since we know that. Integral dx equals to x. Okay. So, you will get minus 4x plus 7 into, since integral 1 by x dx equals to log x. Okay. So, you will get 7 into log x plus 2 into also we have integral 1 by square root of x dx equals to 2 root x okay so 2 into 2 root x 
plus integral constant c. So this is equals to x power 3 plus 1, 4 by 4 plus 5 into x cube by 3 minus 4x plus a log b can be written as log b to the power a. Okay. So you can write 7 log x as log x power 7 plus 2 to the 4 into root x plus c. Therefore, integral of x cube plus 5x square minus 4 plus 7 by x plus 2 by root x into dx is equals to x power 4 by 4 plus 5x cube by 3 minus 4x plus log x power 7 plus 4 root x plus c. Okay. Now coming to the second problem. Integral x cube plus 5x square plus 4x plus 1 by x square dx. Okay. Solution. So in the numerator you are having 4 terms, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the denominator you are having one term. So completely this total fraction can be, we can split the total fraction into four parts. Okay. So this is equals to integral. As I said, we can split the total fraction to four parts x cubed by x square plus 5x square by x square plus 4x by x square plus 1 by x square into dx. So this is equal to integral. You can write x cube as x square into x by x square plus 5. x square x square gets cancelled so you'll get 5 plus 4x by this x square as x into x plus 1 by x square. You can cancel directly or else you can split and you can cancel. Okay. So this equals to integral of x plus 5 plus 4 by x plus 1 by x square into dx. Okay. So you could write it as integral x dx, integral 5 dx, plus integral 4 by x dx, plus integral 1 by x square dx. Okay. So, here we will be using formula of integral x power n dx which is equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c when n is not equals to minus 1 and integral dx which is equals to x, okay, and integral 1 by x dx which is equals to log x. Okay, plus C. So 
So this is equals to here you're having x power 1. That is you're having n equals to 1. Okay. Since n is not equals to minus 1, so you can apply this formula. Integral x dx equals to x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus. Here 5 is constant, so take it out. Then you'll get 5 into integral dx plus. Again, you'll have integral dx is x. Okay. You can change it here itself or in the next step. So, you'll get 4 into integral 1 by x dx plus integral 1 by x squared can be written as x power minus 2 into dx. Okay. Let's apply integral formula the next step. It could be better. Okay. It looks good or else. Fine. So, you would write it as x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus 5 into x plus 4 into log x plus x power minus 2. Again, you can compare these two. So, you are having n equals to minus 2. Since n equals to minus, not uh, n equals to minus 2. So, you're having n is not equals to minus 1. So, you can apply the formula. So, minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 which is not equals to 0. So, you can definitely use this formula. Okay. If you use n equals to minus 1 here, you'll get x power minus 1 plus 1 by minus 1 plus 1. So, in the denominator, you will get 0. Anything by 0 becomes undefined. For that purpose, we are considering n must be not equals to minus 1. Okay. Since you are having n equals to minus 2, so you can apply this formula. Okay. So, you will get x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c. This equals to x square by 2 plus 5x plus 4 log x can be written as log x power 4 since you can write a log b as log b power a. Okay. Plus x power minus 2 plus 1 is x power minus 1 by Minus 2 plus 1 is again minus 1 plus c. So, you could write it as x squared by 2 plus 5x plus log x power 4 minus x inverse plus c. Again, x inverse. Since 1 by x equals to x inverse. Okay. So, finally, you'll get x squared by 2 plus 5x plus log x power 4 minus 1 by x plus c. Or else you can write directly 1 by x here. Okay. Therefore, integral x cube plus 5x squared plus 4x plus 1 by x square into dx equals to x square by 2 plus 5x plus log x power 4 minus 1 by x plus c is the answer. Okay. Fine. So we have seen two integrals in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.